to Ridgeway. Hello. Great. Ah. Uh, thanks for coming and meet me. Sorry about the rush. But I was told if I needed to put a sting together quickly, you have the team. Yeah, well, that usually means you hit a brick wall. Yep, and that's more or less the situation. Hate to admit you're our last chance, but you're our last chance. You need something set up by tomorrow. It involves the murder of a young woman, Loretta Sams, in Washington. She was an intern working for a senator. There's been rumors about an affair between the two of them, but we have no proof. Who does know what happened is Loretta's roommate, but she's on the run. You think she's here in L.A.? We believe so. We also believe the senator has asked one of the lawyers in the firm he uses to make an offer to the roommate to keep quiet about the affair. So she's looking for shut-up money? Looks that way. Well, how much does the roommate know? That's what we need to find out. Her name is Karen, and the, she's been in contact with the lawyer, the Griffin Klein. Klein's on his way here. You're hoping Klein will lead you to the roommate, and the information she has will help you nail the senator. Praying, actually. And we need to do this in a sensitive manner. When does Klein get here? In about three hours. Let's see if we get lucky. Yeah. Fly your black suit, white shirt. You got a solid black tie? Yeah, of course I do, but I ain't wearing it now. What's the gig? Bring the suit, I'll bring the rest. Wait, 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 hold on. Can you give me a minute to work things out with my day? Yeah, sure, you got 15 minutes. And make sure the shoe's clean and pressed. Hey, wear this. And drive carefully, it's a loner. You're picking up Griffin Klein. He's on the 8 o'clock from D.C. Flight 87, Terminal 3. What's going down? Why the rush? Stick with him, whatever it takes. I want you driving this guy as long as he's in L.A. Okay, he's expecting me, right? I'll take care of it. Keys in the car? Yeah, in the ignition. All right, break a leg. Hello, handsome. Look down here. I need you for about five minutes on a little matter of security, FBI. That's me. Fine. Let's go. Do you have any more baggage? Nope, this is it. Where's the car? It's just in parking across the street. I can bring it up for you if you'd like. No, no. I'll walk. Let's go. Perfect. You get a nice flight? Very nice. Thank you. drinks in the mini bar, newspapers, just let me know if you need anything. Century Boulevard Hotel, I'm in a hurry. Yes, sir. Just let me get behind the wheel, have a go right away. Yes, room eight, please. Yes, I'll hold. Yes. Yes, I just landed. <clears throat> I was hoping we could have dinner tomorrow night. Excuse me, driver, do you have a pen and paper? Yes, sir. All right. Yes. <laughs> Give me the address. Hold on a sec. Okay, what is it? Um, 
I was thinking Japanese, if that's all right. I'll have a driver pick you up. Me, I'm uh, 5'10", glasses, blonde hair. I'll have the table uh, reserved under my name. I don't think we'll have any trouble finding each other, all right? I look forward to meeting you, too. And thank you, Karen. Marcy, I'm gonna need you tonight. Driver. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Checking in. Go. Thank you. Sir? No, I've got it. If you need any car at any time during your stay, sir, I'd be happy to offer you our executive discount. As a matter of fact, I'll need a car tomorrow. Fantastic. This is my private number. If you call that number directly, you'll get a 25% discount. What time will you be needing a car, sir? About 7. 7 it is, sir. Thank you, Richard. Getting out of the cab. Check her out for me. I think she's tailing Klein. Also, book yourself a room as close to Klein as possible. Got it. So what do you got? Klein wrote down the address of the girls' motel. You can read the imprint. We called her Karen. That's her. That's the roommate's name. Yeah. And from what I've ever heard, she doesn't know what Klein looks like. They never met. Well, how do you know? Well, he described himself. And then he said, I look forward to meeting you, too, so... All right, that opens things up a little. Let me know when Klein called you again. Motel on Sunset. Karen's address? Yeah. Hey, do we have any evidence that she ever met Klein? No, not at all. Come in. What's your idea? Well, if Karen doesn't know Klein and Klein doesn't know her, I'm thinking we put in one of my agents as a ringer. Karen will be talking directly to us. You want to put a substitute in for Klein? Aren't they supposed to have dinner tomorrow night? We call her up, tell her it's been changed to lunch. I love it. You think you can find a substitute for Klein before noon tomorrow? <laughs> Gonna have to. Great. Thank you. Very nice audition. We'll give you a call. Bill Norton. That's me. I'm dying in here. Dying. All right. Agent, Bill Norton. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Good. Nice to finally meet you. Have a seat. I've been trying to get a meeting with you for a year. I was beginning to think I needed an agent to get work as an agent. What do you know about being a D.C. lawyer? I spent six years in the D.C. Bureau. I actually know Griffin Klein. I met him on several occasions. I even know some of his mannerisms. And undercover work, how much of that have you done? I'm doing it about five years, mostly intellectual property theft cases, playing lawyers doing deals. Are you a liar, Phil? Did you hear what I said? I've been playing lawyers. Okay. Tell the front desk you want to leave a voice message. Room number eight. You don't want to disturb the guest. Right, right this minute? Yeah, it's ringing. Go. Yeah, hello. Good morning. Uh, I'd like to leave a voice message for room number eight. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, please uh, don't ring it through to the room. I don't want to disturb the guests. Uh, yeah, hello. This is um, Griffin Klein. Uh, I, ca I can't make our dinner that we uh, planned, but I can send a driver for lunch. I'm not at the hotel. I'm on my cell. You can reach me at 555-0134. Five. Thank you. Phil, so, that was very good. Thank you. You want to give a guy a little more warning next time? Look, that was just a test, and you passed. Now you're going to do it for real. Study this file. Marcy's going to give you whatever you need. You got four hours. Well, I mean, that's it? I got the job? You got it. Come with me. I'll get you up to speed with the senator. Well, I, I know a little already. It's quite the Don Juan around the Capitol. So don't oversell it. Just tell your story. Walk.
Hey, we got a guy the scenario's on. Driver will pick her up and we're in play unless we hear different. Later. What's my part? What? No highs, no low, just what's my part? Hi, Joe. What is it? Homicide, Washington, D.C. That's you. Your roommate was murdered and you're on the run from the FBI because you know too much. Hello. Hi. Thank you for coming. Is Mr. Klein with you? No, he's meeting us at the restaurant. Is there something bothering you I can help you with? No, no, I was just curious. That's Mr. Klein at the middle table. If you need me, I'll be waiting in the car. Enjoy. Hello, Karen. Griffin Klein. Very good of you to meet me. Nice to finally meet you. Yes. Yes, it is. After all this, I just want to say how sorry I am again for the loss of Loretta. I know you were close. I just want to get it off my chest so I can move on. Get it off your chest? I think that's a very good idea. Eventually, I think the police are going to want to talk to you, and I think I could be very helpful in that situation if you tell me what you know. Loretta started coming home and talking about the senator, I think, the very first day she met him. Well, he's a very charismatic person. Oh, I don't think she found him charismatic. I think she found that he had wandering hands. No. Well, that's what she said anyway, so I was surprised when she started having an affair with him. She talked about that openly with you, did she? Oh, no, she didn't talk at all about it. She just started coming home all flushed and a little tipsy, you know, but she never actually gave me any real details. I think she got a little excited by all the secrecy around it, the, the clandestine nature of it. Power can be pretty seductive, I guess. Can I be blunt? Sure. What do you know about the night of the murder? All she said was she was going to a certain hotel. What hotel? Did she tell you? Yes. I know which hotel, but I'm not going to tell you. All right. What can you tell me? Just that she liked being on the inside of the political scene, all the gossip, you know? Let's talk about what it is you'd need to avoid talking to anybody about this hotel rendezvous. I just want to go back to school. So, tuition, living expenses? All right. Well, it all seems doable. Excuse me for a moment, won't you? I'll be right back. So she knows what hotel they were staying at. Your move. If you have the name of the hotel, we might find the original crime scene. This is good. Thanks, Phil. Any time. Hey, I thought I had some really good moments out there. Very good. Karen, Agent Ridgeway. I'm with the D.C. Bureau of the FBI. We need to talk. Oh, my God. So you know the play? Yeah, I'm the roommate of Loretta Sams, an intern who was murdered by the senator. Allegedly. What else did you get out of the research I gave you on the senator? Well, I probably know more about his private financial wheelings and dealings than his wife does. Well, that's good. Because if he was screwing Loretta, this is the kind of stuff he might tell his mistress and she could have told Karen. Mm -hmm. So this roommate, Karen, she's never met the senator. So what else can you tell me about her? She's a mess of contradictions. Scared, desperate, greedy, all at the same time. Study her. Hey, Kara. This is Lily. She's going to be playing you. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Hi. OK, I'll see you later. So, what can you tell me about Loretta? Loretta. She was my best friend. We knew each other forever, since high school. Her mom practically raised me. Who are we at? Hey, she's registered as a Naomi Prince. She's listed in the DC phone book as a private investigator. Where's she now? I just left her in the lobby. She's probably waiting for Klein. All right, so stay on her, stay in touch.
We have a room down the hall from Klein if we need it. Okay, why are we here? What's our cover? There's a sales convention going on in the hotel. We're just blending in. Got us some name tags. Oh, nice one. Loretta was a, a workaholic, I guess you'd call her. She loved her job. Loved the idea of working in politics, having the opportunity to change things for the better, you know? Young guys followed her around all the time, but she went for the older men. When she went to work for the senator, she thought her whole life had come together. We have a tape of her. Maybe this will give you an idea of how she was. When did you make this? Last year. Uh, we made it so we could show her mom our new apartment. her so much. Gentlemen, I need you to do me a favor. Okay. up at 7 30 how you feeling good fine thanks for the rehearsal time mr klein yes it's richard your driver just letting you know i'm ready when you are sir yes sir excuse me miss hotel security you mind coming with me a moment What's going on? Is there a problem, Jorge? George, no, no problem. You're a private investigator. You're in my hotel on a job. And I'd like to know what it is you're working on. My responsibility is the security and privacy of our guests. So if you'll come with me, do it discreetly, I'd appreciate it. How did you make me? My job, I've been doing it a long time. Maybe I've been doing it too long. Richard. Where to, sir? 97 Sunset Boulevard. Right away, sir. We're leaving now. As a professional courtesy, one ex-cop to another, mind telling me what you're working on? If I tell you, could you help me out a little bit? You know, as a professional courtesy? Well, it depends on the circumstances. It's about justice for a pair of grieving parents. Does that interest you? So far. Coffee? No, thanks. Guy I'm on to is a lawyer, uh, Mr. Griffin Klein. He works for a senator. The senator is a suspect in the murder of one of his interns, a Loretta Sams. Loretta Sams. That big case out of D.C. So you're working for her parents, then? I'm working for Loretta's parents, uh-huh. This is something the FBI would be working on. Well, the parents aren't satisfied that the FBI is doing all they could. So you'll be here keeping an eye on Mr. Klein. You could let me know Mr. Klein's comings and goings, and that way I wouldn't have to clutter up your lobby at all hours. Well, how long will he be our guest? Just trying to get an idea how long I might be helping you out. Well, I, I think that Mr. You know, I really should be keeping an eye out. Anyway, he's here, I believe, to meet with the intern's roommate. Oh, it gets more interesting by the minute. So how's the roommate involved? Well, I think she knows something and wants some hush money. Whoa. No kidding. Wow, this is a good case. H how'd you get all the information? You must have great sources. Every now and then I do all right. So you're thinking the senator killed this Loretta girl and this is all a big cover-up. That's right. Mm -hmm. I do, and you know what? I gotta get back on the job. All right. And thanks for cooperating. Hello, Karen. Mr. Klein? All right. It's a pleasure. Pleasure to meet you.
Thank you for being so cooperative. It's appreciated. Thanks for dinner. You're much different than I expected. Really? How? Well, I didn't expect anyone quite so attractive. I must remind myself to keep my mind on the business at hand. I thought you'd be taller. <clears throat> How are we doing? Not so good. Nikki must have given me the slip when we were in your office. Oh, well, I hope I didn't mess things up for you. Well, you could make it up to me by letting me know when he comes back. Well, that I could do. And then maybe later when you get off your shift, you could join me for a drink. Mm -hmm. Sorry, house rules can't drink with the guests. How about if we go to your house? You got any rules there? Mm -hmm. No rules. I'll see you later. I'll be here. Your private investigator? I got her social security number and the DC Bureau ran her name. They discovered she went back to using her maiden name after the divorce. Her married name is Sam's. She's the victim's mother. She's been working this case ever since her daughter died, going broke trying to solve it. Mm, that's rough on her mother. All right, keep an eye on her. Let's go over what it is that you know about the circumstances. Well, I don't know that much, really. I just sent Loretta was going to a hotel. She was going to break off the relationship, and she expected to be home shortly. My client, you understand. The senator. Let's just keep things hypothetical for now, shall we? Of course. My client, you understand, first of all, wants you to understand that he's innocent of any wrongdoing in Loretta's death. Then why is he sending you to meet with me? Well, he wants, naturally, to avoid any indication of impropriety. Once you've been smeared by innuendo, it's almost as bad as if you've been convicted. For a man of my client's stature, pretty much the end of a very distinguished career. I understand. I understand he's had a very distinguished career. And I hope you understand that Loretta would like to have had a very distinguished career. <clears throat> my client wants it understood that these negotiations in no way indicate any guilt. I understand. Part, so. If you'll let me finish. Sorry. I would also like to have a distinguished career. And in order to do that, I need to continue my education. And as you know, that can be pretty expensive for a young student. I wondered when you were going to drop the knife to A and get down to brass to X. Well, what's on the table? My client is prepared to make you an offer for your cooperation, as I said earlier, with the understanding that this offer in no way indicates any guilt. How much? 200000 It's not enough. You can tell the senator that Loretta told me some other things that he might like to keep out of the public record. For instance? Some interesting friends he had in the construction industry. Loretta brought her work home on occasion. Let's just leave it at that. And more importantly, I know the name of the hotel where Loretta and the senator had their rendezvous the night she died. So I don't think 200 is really going to cut it. Well, without confirming that any of this is acceptable, what kind of figure are we looking at? Five. Half a million. Oh, here's dinner. I'll have to take that under advisement. <clears throat> More sake. Oh, this looks great. I am starving. Looks like Mr. Klein's been enjoying his sake. All right. Ooh. That was good. I trust the dinner was to your liking. Great, thank you. Richard. Yes, yeah. sir. Take the long way home. Yes, sir. I love champagne. Uh, I realize it's premature to be celebrating, but uh, I would like to propose a toast to our intentions to cooperate. To good intentions. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Let me get that. That's all right. Don't bother. Oh, oh. You 
might just have to take that off. I don't think that's really <laughs> necessary. Oh, well, not necessarily necessary, but uh, might be fun. <sighs> Excuse me. I'd like to go home now. What? Well, we just opened the champagne. This is expensive champagne. Look, this is not the reason I came to dinner, and I don't want to insult you, but you're not really the kind of man I find attractive. So if you could please just take me home and just do what we discussed at dinner. Just call your client and get the negotiations going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I got a little out of line. Could you move over? What? Huh? Could you move over and keep your hands off me? Okay. I expect a phone call in the morning telling me one way or the other what the senator's decision is. Again, I'd like to apologize. It's just that you're a very attractive woman. I just had too much just to stop. drink that I've moved. Excuse me. Driver, could you please take me back to the motel? Please. Take her back to her hotel. Have a good evening, ma'am. Thank you. By 10 o'clock, I want to hear something. Sure, it'll work out fine. The night is still young, yes? Yes, sir. Still a baby. And I imagine you know where I might find a young lady a little more willing to enjoy herself. I imagine I do, sir. Is that what you'd like? I could make a phone call or two. Yes, you do that. I'm gonna make a phone call myself. Would you like to enjoy your evening back at the hotel, sir? Or in the limousine. Oh, the hotel. The hotel. I feel like a coal miner back here. Hey, we have an opportunity here. Mr. Plans just asked me to provide him with some company for this evening. When and where? His hotel. He's not gonna last much more than an hour or so. You never know, I'd make it happen quick. I'll call you back. Elena, it's Joe. Look, I'm gonna need one of your girls for tonight, in a hurry. Call me back. I don't care what time it is out there. Let me talk to him. Wake him up. It's important. How you doing on your end up there? You got something lined up? Yes, sir. Working on it, sir. What kind of woman are you looking for, sir? Blonde, young. Money's no object. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try to make her a natural blob. <laughs> you did. Hey, yeah. Sorry to wake you, but uh, I'm out here and yeah, city of the angels. Look, uh, I'm gonna need some substantial funds wired out here by day after tomorrow at the at the latest. Mm hmm. Well, what do you think you can do? Hmm? He's talking about having some money wired. Yeah, but who's he talking to? I can't tell. Definitely somebody he knows, because he had him on speed dial. Also, Mr. Klein wants a blonde for this evening. Hey. <laughs> Me again. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good. Uh, Walter, I'm going to need to let one of my people go up to Mr. Klein's room. I'm asking you to ask your people to look the other way. Yes, sir, no problem. And there's a lady at the bar. She came here a little earlier, asking when you were going to get off shift. Mm, the bar, okay. Thank you. So Naomi's credit cards were all maxed out. She can't even pay a bar tab. Hotel's threatening to kick her out. Okay, so I'd better buy her a drink. Yeah, I think she could use a friend, huh? All right. Call Elena. Find out who she's sending in the service client, whoever it is. We need to know the recent calls off his cell phone. Okay, here we are, sir. Where's my girl? When's she coming? Well, I'm gonna pick her up, sir, and send her up to your room. She'll be about 20 minutes. All right, send her up.
<clears throat> You're not gonna kick me out of the hotel, are you? No, I'm here to buy you a drink. Oh, it's okay if we sit here because this way I can, you know, keep an eye out and bend my elbow at the same time. Yeah, let me get this. Thank you. So how's your evening been going so far? I make a living. Tell me about you. Vice detective in D.C. for 20 years. Married, single? Divorced. My first marriage lasted about as long as it took for me to get pregnant and for him to pack a bag. That's... I'm sorry. It's okay. I have no regrets. So you have children? I had one, a daughter. She passed away a couple of, a couple of months ago. Mm. Excuse me, there's... Somebody I want to have a word with. It's probably not a good idea. You're drunk. Sit down. I'm not going to make a scene. I just want to ask the guy a no, few questions. I can't let you do that. Please, just let go of hey, me. Hey, Naomi, I know who you are. I know you're Loretta's mother. And I know you're looking to get some closure on this case. But the FBI is on top of this, and they don't want you stepping on their toes. I don't want the FBI stepping on my toes. They haven't done a damn thing to investigate this case, and I think they're cooperating with the senator and his people in a cover-up. Okay, well, they're investigating now. And you would know this how? <sighs> Sit down. Tell me about your daughter. Her name is Loretta. She was 22 years old, and um, we lived together for 21 and a half of those. She just moved into her first apartment and just gotten a job as an intern in DC, Capitol Hill. And we talked every single night. I haven't gotten a call from anybody in his office, not a card, nothing since her death. It's as if they just decided to wipe her memory clean. And I'm not gonna let them do that. I'm gonna see to it that she's remembered. Then let me help you do it. Get him in the sack, do whatever you need to do, but just make sure that you distract him. I need to get to his cell phone, so as soon as you find that, you give me a call. Sure, yeah, I can manage that. Thanks for helping out. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, she's on her way up, sir. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. She's, she's pretty damn fine, sir. some dinner set up? They got a good kitchen here. Yeah, mm. that'd be nice. Just order something for me. It's in his jacket in the bathroom.
probably do. I would have appreciated knowing you wanted it rough. I nearly broke my neck. He played rough? Oh, he wasn't playing. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks for the setup. So Lily asked the guy for half a million. He got a little agitated. But after she wound him up, he made a call asking for a substantial amount of money. Who'd he call? His broker. Why is he calling his broker? Why didn't he call the senator, the guy he's working for? He's footing the bill for the hush-hush. Klein's just communicating with a cutout. He's probably under instructions not to involve the senator or call him directly. Hey, Della, you saw the autopsy report on Loretta. Been over it more than a few times. Were there signs of force used on the body? Oh, no, I'm fine. She was smothered. There's signs of trauma in the neck, the mouth, the wrists. Can any of those bruises be the result of rough sex? Possibly. The medical examiner asked the same question. Why? That hooker I sent in for Klein, she told me he was rough with her. Put his hands around her neck. She had to push him off. Okay, that changes things. I had people in D.C. conduct interviews with the staff at the Empire Hotel, and I had the registry checked. Klein's name came up. Turns out Klein had booked a room at that hotel for two nights, the night Loretta went missing and the following night. Well, it's too late to get any evidence out of that room. I have a forensics team looking in anyway. Well, it's looking more and more like Klein than when I killed her. Night, uh, I hope you can forgive me. Well, that depends on what you have to tell me this morning. My client has agreed to your terms. Let's meet for lunch in the same place. All right. Should I pick you up? I'm me either. Lily called. He's coming up with the money. Klein just called, said, wait until he comes down. He's waiting on somebody. I bet you it's the money. Hang in there. Concierge. Yes, sir, Mr. Klein. Thousand cranes for two at noon. I'll make the reservation. Hey, Naomi. Chicken up? Yeah, I thought, um, I thought I'd take your suggestion and let the FBI handle it. I I'm gonna try to have some patience and, um, faith. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I had good advice. You know what? I think my, uh, my taxi's here. Joe, it was, it was a real pleasure. Thank you. And, um, if you're ever in D.C., call me up. I will. Mr. Klein's room, please. Okay, the courier at the phone bank? Looks like he's got the money. Okay, we're on. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Richard. Uh, the Thousand Cranes, we were there last night. I remember, sir, right away. but Lily's not going to be wearing a vest. Hello? 
How are you? I'm well, thank you. What do you got? You got it all wired up. Let's get business out of the way, shall we? As promised. The senator came through. He did. daughter. We already have him. Put it away. Come on, don't do this. Excuse me. Where's the washroom? It's in the back. Let him go. Mr. Klein, Agent Ridgeway, FBI. Take you in custody for the murder of Loretta Sands. What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. And you have the right to Thank you for everything, and Loretta thanks you, too. Come on, let's go this way. Look, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be in D.C. sometime oh. in April, and, uh, maybe we can have dinner together. I'd like that. Can you board it please? Mm -hmm. yeah, see you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Tonight, Dave's got audience show and tell, plus music from Christina Aguilera, and the top ten questions left on the Toro Snowblower Hotline. Tonight, now your local news.